you this is like where when you got to UConn you became a household name and I'm gonna read off these stats just to like preface what you did and what we're about to talk about so and they're just insane um four-time national championship national champion four-time most outstanding player of the NCAA tournament three-time AP player of the year and you end your career with a 151 to five record and four of those losses came in your freshman season when you were going you're showing up to UConn on campus freshman year what was you what was in your head like what were you thinking did you think what you were what you what you ended up accomplishing was possible um I mean I think I hoped yeah you know like it was like the question it was like when you get to school what do you want to do like what what's your goals here and I'm like well I want to win yeah it was just I like wanna, that's... I want to win them all like that yeah. okay um but yeah a lot harder than than it is to to kind of just say that for sure. My freshman year was by far the worst year. Like, wasn't why? Easy. Um, because so going into your freshman year, UConn didn't UConn won in twenty ten, and then they didn't win again until your freshman year. So twenty eleven, twenty twelve, they don't win. So you're going in to the program, and you know everybody's saying that maybe UConn's lost a step. Mm -hmm. So how do you handle that being a freshman, being highly recruited? And I mean, there's, that's just a ton of pressure. Yeah. I think obviously it was pressure. Um, I think I wasn't playing as well as I wanted to, like I wasn't, I was struggling kind of in the practice aspect. You know, I thought I was working hard, but they want you to work uh, sometimes harder. harder. Yeah. (laughs) And I hadn't really figured out that there was more to, to kind of do. Um, I was a little stubborn. I'm a little stubborn sometimes um, and hard headed. So like, yeah, I was trying to do my things my way and he wanted me to do things his way. And we were kind of like uh, that for a little bit. So how did coach Gino handle like, what did you, you know, butting heads, but what, what I did mean, that look like? In the end, I, I always lose because I'm the player. <laughs> True. Because I'm the player. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, so, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I've had so many times like where he was yelling at me, where he was, I was doing something wrong. Uh, my freshman year was when, so we, my freshman year, we only had Gample and that's where we play. Okay. We didn't have our practice facility yet. Okay. So we practiced where we played. Okay. So Gample is the arena. Yeah. Gamble Got it. Pavilion. Okay. Yeah. Um, one drill, I missed a rebound. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, I missed a rebound. Looking yeah. back, I'm like, wow. So he was like, Stewie, he was like, do you see those stairs right there? Oh, no. And okay. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, run them. I was like, what? So I was running stairs during practice. They just continued. He forgot about me. Like every time just- I got to the top, I was like, I should just turn left. I'm like, just go, just turn left and leave. Is left, is left exit, stage left? Yeah, exit. Okay. You're like, exit. Go, go back to the dorm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you, and you just kept running. Mm-hmm. Kept doing it. Did you enjoy, was that the first time you had a coach that had that type of personality and expected the absolute best out of you? Yeah, I think like from all, all aspects for sure. And I think like looking back now, I could have handled my freshman year better. I'm sure there's always things that we can do better. Um, But it's like the way that he he kind of helped me throughout my four years, like it was the best decision of my life. And I understand like, you know, you have to um, break you down to build you back up, like in some aspects, because some things we've learned that are, are not the best way to do things. For sure.